fart. We're moving away the things that might actually <laughs> All right, you guys keep the water in your mouth, please. One, two. <coughs> Ready? Oh, that felt kind of good. Okay, it's at 20. I told you, bro. Hell yeah. Okay, can I put it up to... Okay. <laughs> I want more. <laughs> Kind of nice. Ooh. Oh, it woke me up. Take it off! Take it off! No! I'm this my collar! collar. Alright, this is my, my collar! Best <laughs> dog! I broke my computer screen. I broke my computer. This is my computer now. Okay, we're gonna work on this. We're gonna work on this. I'm gonna work on this. I <laughs> don't have the anger issue. Distraction? There's no distractions going on here. I don't know what you're talking about. Wait, I got this. I got this. Andrea took my One Piece books and she put them under her DJ's. Andrea, use your own book. Don't book. even read them. Yeah. You have 40 you books and you don't read. You, you don't book. read. You but can we talk about something? Why is it this fun? Why does everybody have a fantastic photo? And this is a screenshot from a random PCL stream when they used to make us wear the little golf shirts that don't even make sense. I'm not even looking at the camera. What is this? What photo do you want? Oh, um, well, I would love the same photo I have on Instagram and Twitter. Wait, did we change? <gasps> we did it! <laughs> yeah! Hell yeah! Hey! Who made me 37, you asshole? So again, for the context, try to read Jen Shahadi, uh, Shahadi, Shahadi uh, article from. Uh, ah! Fight. Oh, I'm off slip. Okay. I, I slipped. Okay. Oof. It didn't mean to ruin you the moment. Scared the shit of me. Yeah, my bad. A question, trap question. Who are strong in this position, bishops or knights? Well, you said it was a trick question, so. Even though it's an open, typically bishops are stronger in open positions. Um, but Dina said it's a trick question, so the answer is night. <laughs> the trap in the trick question was that there was no trap. Wow! Oh, who does this? <laughs> what type of cool game is this? You see me when oh, I'm down baby. and you continue beating me. It looks like 339,000 yeah. now in the pot. I'm calling it right now. This is a queen. No right. queens. I'll, I will literally Another tip you $20,000. Oh, nine, three. 20 grand. Oh. Even Magic can't do that. And Botez again. Are you kidding me? Top 100 female poker owner. That's it. Did you crack it just now? I really need help. With what? I have been, I'm running late and I've been trying for 10 minutes to put on my shoes. And I have used every muscle. Ask Vila. No, no, he doesn't. I need you to pull my. Please, I'm so. And not late. during this game. No, no, I need. I need I'm not you. during this game. All you have to do is pull. 
Vila's right there. Vila doesn't have the muscle it Yes, takes. he does. Please, I can't put on my Andrea, shoes. Andrea, Vila can help you put on your shoes. I, no, you don't understand. Andrea. You know what? This is why we- Andrea, I blood you! Get out of here! <laughs> Andrea! No respect for my rating grind. You know what I think about when I think about you? <laughs> I don't want to know. <laughs> I think about the time I got you to buy at 2 a.m. in the morning. Ah, and no. you told me, Anna, there is some bread in the apartment. It's a little moldy, but you can just cut off the mold. My <laughs> grandma used to tell me that mold is good for your <laughs> stomach. <laughs> That's what grandpa would do. <laughs> but because I understand your pain because I've been in those shoes and I know how it is to tilt and you know what We're, we don't give up you know us Botez we might not win but we don't give up so there'll be another day I don't think that helped <laughs> me like that but I ah! <laughs> okay Maya Maya I really admire Mexican people and Mexico in general. Hello, photo chess. Ah! Sorry. I'm done. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm done. <laughs>
Sorry. Sorry. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> We're moving away the things that might actually <laughs> All right, you guys, keep the water in your mouths, please. One, two, <coughs> ready? Oh, that felt kind of good. Okay, it's at 20, I told you, bro. Hell yeah. Okay, can I put it up to, okay. <laughs> I want more. <laughs> ah! Oh, that's kind of nice. Ooh. Oh, it woke me up. Take it off! Take oh. it off! No! I'm this my collar! Alright, this is my collar! Bed dog! <laughs> Fuck! I broke my computer screen. I broke my computer. This is my computer now. Okay, we're gonna work on this. We're gonna work on this. I'm gonna work on this. I <laughs> don't have the anger issue. Distraction? There's no distractions going on here. I don't know what you're talking about. Wait, I got this. I got this. my One Piece books and she put them under her DJs. Andrea, use your own book. Don't phone. even read them. Yeah. You have 40 you books and you don't read. You, you don't book. read. You but can we talk about something? Why is it this phone? Why does everybody have a fantastic photo? And this is a screenshot from a random PCL stream when they used to make us wear the little golf shirts that don't even make sense. I'm not even looking at the camera. What is this? What photo do you want? Oh, um, well, I would love the same photo I have on Instagram and Twitter. Wait, did we change? <gasps> we did it! <laughs> yeah! Hell yeah! Hey! Who made me 37, you asshole? So again, for the context, try to read Jen Shahade, uh, Shahadi, Shahadi uh, article from. Uh, ah! Fight. I'm off slip. Okay. I, I slipped. Okay. Oof. It didn't mean to ruin the. Scared the shit of me. Yeah, my bad. A question, trap question. Who are strong in this position, bishops or knights? Well, you said it was a trick question, so. Even though it's an open, typically bishops are stronger in open positions. Um, but Dina said it's a trick question, so the answer is night. <laughs> the trap in the trick question was that there was no trap. Wow! Oh, who does this? <laughs> what type of cool game is this? You see me when oh, I'm down baby. and you continue beating me. It looks like 339,000 now in the pot. I'm calling it right now. This is a queen. No right. queens. I'll, I will literally Another tip you $20,000. 20 grand. Even Magic can't do that. And Botez again. Are you kidding me? the 100 female poker earner. That's it. Did you crack it just now? I really need help. With what? I have been, I'm running late and I've been trying for 10 minutes to put on my shoes. And I have used every muscle. Ask Vila. No, no, he doesn't. I need you to pull my. Please, I'm so. Not worried. during this game. No, no, I need. I need I'm not you. during this game. All you have to do is pull. 
Vila's right there. Vila doesn't have the muscle it yes, takes. Yes, he does. Please, I can't put on my Andrea, shoes. Andrea, Vila can help you put on your shoes. I No, you don't understand. Andrea. You know what? This is why we- Andrea, I blocked her! Get out of here! <laughs> Andrea! No respect for my rating grind. You know what I think about when I think about you? <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to know. <laughs> I think about the time I got you to buy at 2 a.m. in the morning. Ah, no. me, Anna, there is some bread in the apartment. It's a little moldy, but you can just cut off the mold. My <laughs> grandma used to tell me that mold is good for your <laughs> stomach. <laughs> Sorry, it's okay. Peace Sorry. Down, mercy. Sorry. Stop. So, how's it going, Andrea? Um, did you hit your goal today? Okay, um... <laughs> I think I, I tuned in at some point and you were listening to some weird song. And then you lost this guy who was farming you and you're like, Well, what does he have on me? Well, actually, he has a better title and he's beat me a few times and he has a higher rating. But I'm... And then you tried, like, coming up with something to, like, boost yourself up, and you're like, until, and then you just gave up, and it was so sad, but so funny. But it was funny, not because I'm laughing at your pain, but because I understand your pain. Because I've been in those shoes, and I know how it is to tilt. And, you know what, We're, we don't give up. You know, as Botez, we might not win, but we don't give up. So, there'll be another day. I don't think that helped. Defend me like that, but I. Ah! Okay, Maya. Maya, Maya, 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 Maya. I really admire Mexican people and Mexico in general. Hello, photo chess. Ah! Sorry. I'm done. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm done. <laughs>
I quit the fucking world championship for this! Oh my god! Sorry. Sorry. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. We're moving away the things that might actually <laughs> Alright, you guys keep the water in your mouths, please. One, two <coughs> Ready? Oh, that felt kind of good. Okay, it's at 20. I told you, bro. Hell yeah. Okay, can I put it up to... Okay. <laughs> I want more. <laughs> ah! Oh. That's kind of nice. Ooh. Oh, it woke me up. Take it off! Take oh. it off! No! I'm this my collar! collar. Alright, this is my collar! collar. <laughs> Bed dog! Fuck! Ah! I broke my computer screen. I broke my computer. This is my computer now. Okay, we're gonna work on this. We're gonna work on this. I'm gonna work on this. I don't have anger issues. Distraction? There's no distractions going on here. I don't know what you're talking about. Wait, I got this. I got this. <laughs> I don't know, we're not putting a- You're using a one-piece book! You don't read it them anyway! You're not reading them anyway! You're never gonna read them! Andrea took my one-piece books? And she put them under her DJs. Andrea, use your own phone. Don't book. even read them. Yeah. You have 40 you books your own and you don't read. You, your you own don't own read. Yeah. But can we talk about something? Why is it this phone? Why does everybody have a fantastic photo? And this is a screenshot from a random PCL stream when they used to make us wear the little golf shirts that don't even make sense. I'm not even looking at the camera. What is this? What photo do you want? Oh, um, well, I would love the same photo I have on Instagram and Twitter. Wait, did we change? <gasps> we did it! <laughs> yeah! Hell yeah! Hey! Who made me 37, you asshole? So again, for the context, try to read Jen Shahade, uh, Shahadi, Shahadi uh, article from. Uh, ah! Fight. Mob slip. Okay. I, I slipped. Okay. Oof. It didn't mean to ruin the moment. Scared the shit of me. Yeah, my bad. Question, trap question. Who are strong in this position, bishops or knights? Well, you said it was a trick question, so. Even though it's an open, typically bishops are stronger in open positions. Um, but Dina said it's a trick question, so the answer is night. <laughs> the trap in the trick question was that there was no trap. Wow! Who does this? <laughs> what type of cool game is this? 
<laughs> you see me when oh, I'm down baby. and you continue feeding me. It looks like 339,000 now in the pot. I'm calling it right now. This is a queen. No right. queens. I'll, I will literally Another tip you $20,000 oh, for the queen. Three. 20 grand. Oh. Even Magic can't do that. And Botez again. Are you kidding me? That's it. Did you crack it just now? I really need help. With what? I have been, I'm running late, and I've been trying for 10 minutes to put on my shoes, and I have used every muscle. Ask Vila. No, no, he doesn't, I need you to pull my, please. I'm so Not late. during this game. No, no, I need, I need. I'm not during this game. All you have to do is pull. Vila's right there. Vila doesn't have the muscle it Yes, takes. he does. Please, I can't put on my Andrea, shoes. Andrea, Vila can help you put on your shoes. I, no, you don't understand. Andrea. You know what? This is why we- Andrea, I blood you! Get out of here! <laughs> Andrea! No respect for my rating grind. You know what I think about when I think about you? <laughs> <laughs> I don't wanna know. <laughs> I think about the time I got you to buy a 2 a.m. in the morning. Ah, no. me, Anna, there is some bread in the apartment. It's a little moldy, but you can just cut off the mold. My <laughs> grandma used to tell me that mold is good for your <laughs> stomach. <laughs> That's what grandpa would do. <laughs> and then, you know, the funniest thing was, oh, by the way, Anna, I'm not sure why I've had a little bit of stomach issues. <laughs> Sorry, it's okay. Peace Sorry. Down, mercy. Sorry. Stop. So, how's it going, Andrea? Um, did you hit your goal today? Okay, um... <laughs> I think I, I tuned in at some point and you were listening to some weird song. And then you lost this guy who was farming you and you're like, Well, what does he have on me? Well, actually, he has a better title and he's beat me a few times and he has a higher rating. But I'm... And then you tried, like, coming up with something to, like, boost yourself up, and you're like, until, and then you just gave up, and it was so sad, it was so funny. But it was funny, not because I'm laughing at your pain, but because I understand your pain. Because I've been in those shoes, and I know how it is to tilt. And, you know what, We're, we don't give up. You know us, Botez, we might not win, but we don't give up. So, there'll be another day. I don't think that helped. Bend me like that, but I. Ah! Okay, Maya. Maya, Maya, Maya. Guys, that's it. Okay, Chris, that's it. I really admire Mexican people and Mexico in general. Hello, photo chess. Ah! Sorry. I'm done. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm done. You look ugly. No, Anastasia! And the British authority have all of our equipment! So Ow! Ow! It hit me! Aw, she's so sweet! Ah! <laughs> oh, let's go! <laughs> You're such a good chicken! She's such a nice chicken. She's a really nice chicken. I love you! Whoa! <laughs>
I quit the fucking world championship for this! Oh my god! Sorry. Sorry. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> We're moving away the things that might actually <laughs> Alright, you guys keep the water in your mouth, please. One, two <coughs> Ready? Oh, that felt kind of good. Okay, it's at 20. I told you, bro. Hell yeah. Okay, can I put it up to... Okay. <laughs> I want more. <laughs> ah! Oh. That's kind of nice. Ooh. Oh, it woke me up. Take it off! Take oh. it off! No! I can't even my go. collar! All right, this is my collar! <laughs> Bed dog! Fuck! Ah! I broke my computer screen. I broke my computer. This is my computer now. Okay, we're gonna work on this. We're gonna work on this. I'm gonna work on this. I don't have the anger issue. Distraction? There's no distractions going on here. I don't know what you're talking about. Wait, I got this. I got this. <laughs> I don't know, we're not putting up. You're using one piece book. You're not reading them anyway. You're not reading them anyway. You're never gonna read them. Andrea took my one piece books and she put them under her DJ's. Andrea, use your own book. Don't even read them. Yeah. You have 40 use books your own and you don't read. Use your you own don't book. read. But can we talk about something? Why is it this fuck? Why does everybody have a fantastic photo? And this is a screenshot from a random PCL stream when they used to make us wear the little golf shirts that don't even make sense. I'm not even looking at the camera. What is this? What photo do you want? Oh, um, well, I would love the same photo I have on Instagram and Twitter. Wait, did we change? <gasps> we did it! <laughs> yeah! Hell yeah! Hey! Who made me 37, you asshole?
Whoa! What are you doing? You came. So again, for the context, try to read Jen Shahade. Uh, Shahadi. Shahadi uh, article from... Uh, ah! Fight. Mob slip. Okay. I, I slipped. Okay. Oof. It didn't mean to ruin the moment. scared the shit of me. Yeah, my bad. Question, trap question. Who are strong in this position? Bishops or knights? Well, you said it was a trick question, so... Even though it's an open... Typically, bishops are stronger in open positions. Um, but... Dina said it's a trick question, so the answer is knight. <laughs> the trap in the trick question was that there was no trap. Wow! Well, who does this? <laughs> what type of cruel game is this? You see me when oh, I'm down baby. and you continue beating me. It looks like 339,000 now in the pot. I'm calling it right now. This is a queen. No right. queens. I'll, I will literally Another tip you $20,000. Oh, nine, three. 20 grand. Oh. Even Magic can't do that. And Botez again. Are you kidding me? the 100 female poker order. That's it. Did you crack it just now? I really need help. With what? I have been, I'm running late and I've been trying for 10 minutes to put on my shoes. And I have used every muscle. Ask Vila. No, no, he doesn't. I need you to pull my. Please, I'm so. Not late. during this game. No, no, I need. I I'm need not you. during this game. All you have to do is pull. Vila's right there. Vila doesn't have the muscle. It yes, takes. he does. Please, I can't put on my Andrea, shoes. Andrea, Vila can help you put on your shoes. I no, you don't understand. Andrea, you know what? This is why we. Andrea, I you! Get out of here! <laughs> Andrea! No respect for my rating grind. You know what I think about when I think about you? <laughs> I don't want to know. <laughs> I think about the time I got you to buy at 2 a.m. in the morning. Ah, no. me, Anna, there is some bread in the apartment. It's a little moldy, but you can just cut off the mold. My <laughs> grandma used to tell me that mold is good for your <laughs> stomach. <laughs> That's what grandpa would do. <laughs> and then, you know, the funniest thing was, oh, by the way, Anna, I'm not sure why I've had a little bit of stomach issues. <laughs> bah! Sorry. It's okay. Peace Sorry. Da mercy. Sorry. Stop. So, how's it going, Andrea? Um, did you hit your goal today? Okay. Um, <laughs> I think I, I tuned in at some point and you were listening to some weird song and then you lost this guy who was farming you and you're like, well, what does he have on me? Well, actually, he has a better title, and he's beat me a few times, and he has a higher rating. But I'm... And then you tried, like, coming up with something to, like, boost yourself up, and you're like, until... And then you just gave up, and it was so sad. It was so funny. But it was funny, not because I'm laughing at your pain, but because I understand your pain. Because I've been in those shoes, and I know how it is to tilt. And... You know what? We're, we don't give up. You know us, Botez, we might not win, but we don't give up. So, there'll be another day. I don't think that helps. Bend me like that, but I... Ah! Okay, Maya! Ah! Maya, Maya, Maya! Guys, that's it. Okay. Chris, that's it. Okay, Maya, 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 Oh my god. Andrea! I really admire Mexican people and Mexico in general. Hello, photo chess. Ah! Sorry. I'm done. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm done. <laughs>
Do you look ugly? No, Anastasia! The British Authority have all of our equipment! So cute! <laughs> Chicken. She's a really nice chicken. I love you! I quit the fucking world championship for this! Oh my god! Sorry. Sorry. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> We're moving away the things that might actually <laughs> Alright, you guys keep the water in your mouth, please. One, two <coughs> Ready? Oh, that felt kind of good. Okay, it's at 20. I told you, bro. Hell yeah. Okay, can I put it up to... Okay. <laughs> I want more. <laughs> ah! Oh. That's kind of nice. Ooh. Oh, it woke me up. Take it off! Take oh. it off! No! Okay, this my is collar! Cool. Alright, this is my collar! <laughs> Bed dog! Fuck! Ah! I broke my computer screen. I broke my computer. This is my computer now. Okay, we're gonna work on this. We're gonna work on this. I'm gonna work on this. I don't have the anger issue. Distraction? There's no distractions going on here. I don't know what you're talking about. Wait, I got this. I got this. One piece books and she put them under her DJs. Andrea, use your own book. You don't even read them. Yeah. You have 40 you books and you don't read. You, you don't book. read. You but can we talk about something? Why is it this fuck? Why does everybody have a fantastic photo and this is a screenshot from a random PCL stream when they used to make us wear the little golf shirts that don't even make sense?
I'm not even looking at the camera. What is this? What photo do you want? Oh, um, well, I would love the same photo I have on Instagram and Twitter. Wait, did we change? <gasps> we did it! <laughs> yeah! Hell yeah! Hey! Who made me 37, you asshole? So again, for the context, try to read Jen Shahadi, uh, Shahadi, Shahadi uh, article from. Uh, ah! Fight. Mob slip. Okay. I, I slipped. Okay. Oof. It didn't mean to ruin the moment. Scared the shit of me. Yeah, my bad. A question, trap question. Who are strong in this position, bishops or knights? Well, you said it was a trick question, so. Even though it's an open, typically bishops are stronger in open positions. Um, but Dina said it's a trick question, so the answer is night. <laughs> the trap in the trick question was that there was no trap. Wow! Who does this? <laughs> what type of cool game is this? You see me when oh, I'm cats, down baby. and you continue beating me. It looks like 339,000 now in the pot. I'm calling it right now. This is a queen. No right. queens. I'll, I will literally Another tip you $20,000. Oh, nine, three. 20 grand. Oh. Even Magic can't do that. And Botez again. Are you kidding me? Top 100 female poker owner. That's it. Did you crack it just now? I really need help. With what? I have been, I'm running late and I've been trying for 10 minutes to put on my shoes. And I have used every muscle. Ask Vila. No, no, he doesn't. I need you to pull my. Please, I'm so. Not late. during this game. No, no, I need. I I'm need, not during this game. All you have to do is pull. Vila's right there. Vila doesn't have the muscle. It yes, takes. he does. Please, I can't put on my Andrea, shoes. Andrea, Vila can help you put on your shoes. I no, you don't understand. Andrea, you know what? This is why we. Andrea, I your get out of here. <laughs> Andrea. No respect for my rating grind. You know what I think about when I think about you? <laughs> I don't want to know. <laughs> I think about the time I got you to buy at 2 a.m. in the morning. Ah, no. you, Anna, there is some bread in the apartment. It's a little moldy, but you can just cut off the mold. My <laughs> grandma used to tell me that mold is good for your stomach. <laughs> That's what grandpa would do. <laughs> and then, you know, the funniest thing was, oh, by the way, Anna, I'm not sure why I've had a little bit of stomach issues. <laughs> Sorry, it's okay. Peace Sorry. da mercy. Sorry. Stop. So, how's it going, Andrea? Um, did you hit your goal today? Okay, um... <laughs> I think I, I tuned in at some point and you were listening to some weird song. And then you lost this guy who was farming you and you're like, Well, what does he have on me? Well, actually, he has a better title and he's beat me a few times and he has a higher rating. But I'm... And then you tried like coming up with something to like boost yourself up and you're like until and then you just gave up and it was so sad but, so funny. but it was funny not because I'm laughing at your pain but because I understand your pain because I've been in those shoes and I know how it is to tilt and you know what We're, we don't give up you know us Botez we might not win but we don't give up so there'll be another day I don't think that helped. Defend me like that, but I. Ah! Okay, Maya. Maya, Maya, Maya. Guys, that's it. Okay, Maya, that's it. Maya, 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 Maya. Oh my God. Andrea! 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 Bro, bro, he's actually upset at me like a little kid. Oh God, no one's safe.
I really admire Mexican people and Mexico in general. Hello, photo chess. Ah! Sorry. I'm done. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm done. You look ugly. No, Anastasia! The British authority have all of our equipment! So cute! Ow! Ow! It hit me! Aw, she's so sweet! She's such a nice chicken. She's a really nice chicken. I love you, Lurky! Oh, I quit the fucking world championship for this! Oh my god! Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> We're moving away to things that might actually <laughs> Alright, you guys keep the water in your mouth, please. One, two <coughs> Ready? Oh, that felt kind of good. Okay, it's at 20. I told you, bro. Hell yeah. Okay, can I put it up to- Test! Can you guys hear me? Is there audio? Are we here? Somebody say hello. Somebody wave. I'm losing my freaking- Ah! Ah! We have chat! We have everything! We have life! I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I tested- I would like to say- I test- no, we'll put you guys on this side. I tested everything yesterday, and everything broke again today. Um, hello from the Canadian Poker Studio. I know, you guys waited a long time, and I'm really sorry. Um, the lights randomly stopped working today, and then all of a sudden, the internet wasn't working, so then I had to fix that, and then I couldn't get the audio 
to not be on a different source. And all of this was tested yesterday, but every now and then you boot up OBS, all of your hopes and dreams, and all of a sudden the things that worked yesterday don't work anymore. And you're looking at yourself, the computer's looking at you. You're like, why is this happening to me? And you're in Canada and you don't have Vila. All right. Um, no, but today, today is an exciting day. Thank you, everybody. No, Andrea clearly rubbed off on me. I would just like to say that usually I'm a very on-time person, as you guys could see from the chess tournament. Who would always show up on, on time? Your girl, Alex. Who would always be late despite getting, you know, uh, requests, complaints from uh, the tournament arbiter? Andrea. But now I hung out with Andrea for a month in Europe. It's a little bit chaotic, but we're here. Um, and I'll go through all the tech issues so that we can actually start on time tomorrow and the rest of the week, because I'm going to be here for a week, which is great. Yeah, Dad, I know. Um, chest bra! Thank you for the 67 months. I appreciate it. This cam is too head-on. I think it's great. I think what, what we've created here is good so far. Um, and I was having calls with this office in Canada, and I was like, Oh, like, is it okay if there's, you know, some noise coming from the room? And they were like, yeah, no, it's totally fine. And I kept having tried to explain to them the levels of noise. I was like, um, sometimes I get really frustrated with work and I yell fuck very quickly. It's not quite like Tourette's. It's just something that happens sometimes. Would that be an issue? Um, so I was there trying to explain this, but I got everything approved. Um, so yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, stream is working, stream is great. It's a missing a squeak though. Well, guess who paid somebody to fly, fly squeak out? All it took was some money, a vet visit, a certificate, and flying on one of two airlines that allow you to bring in pet birds. And we have a Canadian squeak. Say hi, you squeaky boy. Yeah, I mean, honestly, I would have had to pay for the sitter fee otherwise anyway, so it works. Um, yes, I was I was walking walking with Squeak over today, and there's so many people who are like, "Ooh, a bird!" And I was just like a crazy woman walking with her bird. Um, no, he is here. I've missed him so much. There's no way in hell I wasn't gonna bring him as long as it was legally possible. Wait, Squeak, let's put you on the other side, buddy. Okay, one sec. Oh, yep, yep, up. Oh. Okay. Here you go. There you are. There you are. The <laughs> Canadian stunt double, I know. Actually, Squeak, um, it's not really space for the two of us. Does Squeak remember you? Um, actually, he was really nice to me. I thought he was going to be more upset, but he just ended up being a nice boy. Um, I actually never asked the office if I was allowed to bring a bird so I kind of just brought him in today and I was like I swear to god if I spent all this time trying to figure out how to bring squeak only for him to not be allowed into the office I'm a little paranoid I'm gonna get caught um did we not see Alex and the bird before the chess bird tournament I mean I was showing the videos of him okay all right I'm just I'm just I'm just nervous we're gonna get caught um it's not smuggled if you have a vet certificate. Your bird gets mad for a full day. Well, Squeak is a simp. Like, he tried to be upset with me, um, but then then he was really excited. So I'm, I'm honestly happy because some birds get really upset at you, but Squeak, Squeak has sympathy. <laughs> um, yeah, it's an emotional support board. Well, I mean, this office was really chill. Like, I kept explaining that, like, I might accidentally be too loud and yell and swear, and they were cool with it. So here we are. Um, I still need to... The only problem is my office has no windows, um, which is fine. We're going to be here playing poker. Who needs windows? Not your girl. Um, and the air circulation seems to be so-so, um, so I'm going to need to to keep maybe buy more fans in here, but we're going to figure it out. We're going to figure it out. Um, you'll suffocate and that's okay because we're going to be playing poker. It's like the garage all over again. I remember when we were in garage and I would, I would be streaming and I would feel like I'm in a sauna. Um, I'm in Vancouver where I grew up, which is actually really nice. Um, cause at least I get to see my childhood friends. 
last time I was in Vancouver, I was streaming from an Airbnb. Um, but I was like, you know what? If we're doing this for real, can I please get an office? Because I was streaming off of two laptops, if you guys remember. So that was that was a lot harder. Um, oh, sorry. So. Wait, I brought some books. I brought some story times. Okay, well, we are going to be playing a lot of poker today, and I'm excited. Um, but I wanted to just get a second to catch up with chat because, well, we've been gone from home for almost a month now. Uh, Andrea is in Sweden. And, uh, well, I should never let Andrea travel without me because something bad always happens to her. She somehow managed on her flight from Iceland to Sweden to accidentally exit security because she thought she was going to con connecting flights, but what she did was exit. So then she had to go through security again, trying not to miss her connecting flight. And because she went through security again, um, this security was tougher and they confiscated all of her makeup and threw it out, which I feel bad for her, but it's the second time they've thrown out her makeup and she still keeps traveling with it. So uh, this is not on me. Even though I know parents would be upset and they'd say, why did you let your baby sister go? Well, well, dad, we, you know, we have different lives. We have different lives. Maybe Snapchat her? Yes. Could you activate the subtitles? I do not speak English very well. Can I activate titles? Subtitles? Um, do any mods know how to do that? Red Hot Tatiana, thank you so much for the tier one sub. I appreciate it. I don't know what's suspicious about makeup. I think it's like the certain, uh, the, the amount of makeup that might be the issue. She should learn for herself. It's good for autonomy. No, I mean, this is true. Like one day Andrea should learn how to be streaming for herself. Not streaming, traveling, but you know, until then it feels good to, fe to be a little bit needed. Just peak slower. I hold nothing against you in regard of Andrea's makeup losses. Thanks, dad. I'll never forget the time when I was living in Austin, Texas, and my sister missed a flight. And without skipping a beat, my mom doesn't comment anything to Andrea, but she's like, I know why this happened. It's because Alex, she always loses her wallet and keys. And I was like, why am I always catching strays for this? What does me losing my wallet have to do with Andrea losing her flight? And that's just, that's just what it's like to be the older sibling. It's, it's always your fault. Um, and I've accepted it. Hi, Squeak. Okay, no, Squeak is still getting used to me. Hi, Squeak. Wait, that's Squeaky Boy! Oh, he doesn't want scratchies yet. Okay, I mean, honestly, he is a little bit upset at me because I did, I did have to keep him with a sitter for a month. Um, but Squeak, like, how do you think we're gonna afford all the seeds and berries you eat? Y y you think you can eat that many blackberries and blueberries in this economy without Mama working? Um, but he did, he did, he did sneak, sneak in a little closer, so that's okay. Um, he turned his back right to you. Look, I, I understand it's going to take a while. It's going to take a while. Um, does he like eating hair? He likes eating Andrea's hair. Which is actually very funny. Maybe he just likes tormenting Andrea. That could be part of it. Um, Squeak was at least finally able to fly. I know. Well, Squeak is able to fly with specific carry-ons um, in the US too. It's just that now I know to book them ahead of time. Does Squeak ever bite you? He doesn't bite me anymore. Squeak Squeak has become really nice to me lately. No chess today? Well, I was going to start with an hour of chess, but that got replaced by an hour of tech issues. So we're probably going to get into the poker sooner rather than later. Has he picked up any words yet? No, he still just angrily grumbles himself and says, meep, meep. Um, congrats on the partnership. What tourneys are we winning today okay yes so chat what's up today is my first stream as a gg poker ambassador which is super exciting um basically we are gonna work together to make some really cool content i have some very exciting ideas which i would give a little sneak into but i don't want anyone to yoink them but you know what no i don't think i'm allowed to share some of the the, the concepts yet i can't turn 100 percent into the idea um but anyway I have a lot of really exciting ideas for what we want to do with poker, and they were one of the sites that was actually really down to try these and also help with a budget for it. Um, and these are like cool poker content ideas that are, you know, more for new people rather than just the super competitive stuff, which I'm exciting, excited. Uh, today, poker, next week, chess. Well, don't worry, we're still playing chess. I'm going to go to Spain in two weeks for the next chess tournament. So it's been very busy. 
very, very busy. Um, also, if you go H to H, although I think we should change that command to something a little bit more understandable. Um, I know it's for head to head, but maybe we could do it like announcement or something. Um, but yes, the it's me playing with Daniel Negreanu and it's us kind of talking, but oh no, Squeak, you have a direct line of shit here. I'm gonna just need to need to adjust. No, no, you're cool, Squeak. I'm just adjusting so you don't poop on my desk. It's cool, Squeak. Don't give me that look. I've seen what you're capable of doing. We live in a society, Squeak. Um, parrot teacher would also be nice. Yes, exactly. Uh, what are the new ratings post tournament? Well, I gained 20 points in Iceland, but I lost uh 30 something in Prague, so I lost a little bit of ELO. That being said, I'm gonna gain it all back in Spain, or you know, I'm just gonna try to keep improving and play my best chess. Um, congrats on the partnership. I played you in the 3k 6 million Bahamas. I was the guy from Canada when all those 444 coincidences. Oh, that's really cool. It's good to see you again, Academic. Um, is Andrea playing in Spain too? Yes. Have we found a new commentator? I'm gonna be honest. We finished our chess tournament, and then I flew to New York, and then I did the Nike sponsorship, and then yesterday I flew to Canada and checked everything for this office. So things have been really crazy, but we will get a commentator soon. As you guys know, Hammer is leaving us for Hikaru, which is a little bit sad, but it's okay. I understand. Whatever. I really, honestly, mm, if, if anybody can win the candidates, I'm cheering up for either Hikaru or, Fa or Fabi. But if Hikaru somehow won the candidates, um, that would do wonders for chess. Imagine a chess streamer. Well, I mean, he's already number two in live rating. But yes, no, we're, we're, we're cheering for Hikaru. Um, you love Hammer? Yeah, no, Hammer, Hammer is great. Also, I'm pretty sure we were the most watched female streamers on Twitch last week because of chess, which is pretty insane. Um, so thank you everybody for that. I really appreciate it. Oh, Fabi's number two. Okay, he's number three now. Well, you know, the live ratings change, guys. They change. Um, would you consider yourself a Hikaru fan of his chess? Absolutely. Who wouldn't? Um, yeah. Are going to be Texas Hold'em? Yes, we're going to be playing a lot of poker. We're just catching up a little bit and then we're getting into it. Um, Hammer's commentary on Andrea's swindle in Prague was epic. Well, I'm glad you guys like it. I'm glad you guys like it. Uh, Hammer was excellent. Best wishes to him going forward. I appreciate it. Hammer, best female streamer for real, though. For real. You missed Parrot? Thank you, Pharaoh. Haha. I appreciate it. Um, where in Canada are you set up? I'm in Vancouver, which is where I grew up. So it's actually kind of nice. Um, will Hammer come back? Yes. As long as it doesn't interfere with when he has to commentate on Hikaru or Magnus. You know, all players of very similar chess level to us, basically. Please lock down Hammer long term. I'm trying, Hoagie. It's just we decide on things like two weeks before, um, which is definitely an us problem. And I understand that. I'm still a little bit sick. Do I have any funny stories from Prague and Reykjavik? Um, uh, honestly, was did we have any funny stories from Iceland? We threw a chess party on the last day, which was a complete shit show. Um, we wanted to do something nice for the players and help, you know, with the chess social scene. So we rented an Airbnb and we like last minute invited people. And the most funny thing was that Andrea went and she bought a ton of beers for the party. And three hours in, we realized that all of the beers are not alcoholic. <laughs> because Iceland has really strict alcohol laws, um, where I guess they don't sell anything. I mean, one of them was 2%, so like maybe that one counted. Um, but yeah, you know, we're really cool. We throw parties with only non-alcoholic beer, and that's fine. That's fine. Um, you left Andrea to buy the beer? Well, because I honestly didn't even want to throw the party anymore. I was like, oh, it's like we're doing it too last minute. But Andrea's like, I already invited everybody. So I was like, oh, shit, okay. So then we split the division of labor, um, and Andrea's division was getting the beer. Um, but she, she, tried, she tried her best, which is fair. Um... It took three hours to notice. It's a chess party. There were two chess boards and everybody was 
around them watching. So I don't know what to tell you. And also we were in, in, in an Airbnb and I didn't want to get my Airbnb reviews to be bad because I need to use them and you need to verify Airbnb with a passport. So I kept shushing everyone so that we wouldn't get in trouble with the neighbors. Botez live, baby, best parties. Look, in the future, because I didn't ask to throw a party because I was like, well, because I'm going to say party and they're going to think it's an actual party and not realize it's a bunch of chess players playing chess and like talking loudly. Um, so, yeah, I was, I was being really careful. Did the, <laughs> too much, thing. we're not going to talk about that one. Um, today was the full moon. You played chess and lost all 30 games. I don't believe you can lose 30 in, in a row. Are you selling any action? Uh, no, not yet. Not yet. Um, chess players partying with cheese boards only. Well, non-alcoholic beer and we had one bag of chips. Okay, this is sounding really bad now that I'm hearing it all. And the only reason we had any snacks was because somebody brought it. <laughs> At least we tried. Nobody else hosts stuff, okay? Um, nobody else hosts stuff. We'll do better in the future. And then we had to, like, clean up and do everything. So, I mean, look, we put in effort. We were trying. We were trying. Um, the non-alcoholic beer might help with the Airbnb. Yeah, exactly. Y'all went hard. We tried. We, we, we tried our best. Um, must have been a rager. No, not quite. Did people get home safe? Yes. Yes, they did. I saw you and Andrea at Berlin Airport a week, few weeks back. Oh, that's really funny. Berlin was great. Well, the bird is just chilling. Um, he already plucked one of his feathers. Do you want to play with your feather squeak? I forgot to bring him toys. Um, but I'll... Amazon. Can you Amazon Canada some for tomorrow? I'll go, I'll go to a store. Actually, yeah, you can Amazon. Um, did you get near the volcano? I did not, but I saw the smoke, so. Can he fly yet? I don't know. Squeak, your wing must have grown back from now. He flew a little bit before I left him. Um, I was kind of worried that I'd come back and all of a sudden he can fly. And then maybe I can't carry him around outside as easily, but... He didn't seem too keen on flying, but I really hope he'll fly one day. Like, I always cheer him on when he tries to open up his little wings. I'm like, is he going to do it? Is this the moment? Come on, my boy, fly, fly. <laughs> Did he cut his flying feathers? Um, I didn't. It wasn't me. It wasn't me. Um... Uh, sorry, got a little notification. Um... One sec. I need to change one of the bots. Uh Sorry. I Okay. Um Office Admin, keep it down. No no no. I checked it multiple times that they would be okay with the noise because I was like, I'm not getting all of this set up, going all the way there only to get a noise complaint. <sighs> Looks like Squeak's been taking Andrea's ADHD meds. I think he's just really relaxed. Um, is he friendly? He's very friendly, but he's kind of... Squeak, are you... Are you... I'm sorry I left you. I know. I miss you too. If I could bring you with me... It would be cool. I brought you where I could, but I couldn't bring you between all the European countries. Know what I mean, Squeak? No, he's giving me the cold shoulder. Um, he looks pretty against the yellow light. I appreciate it. You guys like the little the little poker decoration? It ain't much, but I, I'm working on it. I'm working on it. Um, when is the video you filmed versus the three chess gate kids? Uh, hopefully in the next three weeks. We've been working on a lot of stuff. It's very exciting. Uh, first thing you notice. Okay. All right. I've been, I've been chattering. Let me think about, I don't know if I have any other funny stories that I'm allowed to share at least. You know what I mean? I think those were most of the funny stories. So we'll save those for now. Um, 
I want to do a little little chatting with Andrea. Although Andrea might not even come back to LA. I think she wants to stay in Europe until Spain. But the problem is we've stayed in Europe so much that you're only allowed to be there three months out of six unless you have a work visa, which we don't. So hopefully we don't get kicked out of Europe. Knowing Andrea, she will. I told her to check. I was like, Andrea, please just make sure you don't get kicked out of Europe. Um, and she didn't reply, but it'll be fine. I need t-shirts coming to the shop soon. Would you guys like t-shirts? We could do that. We have GG t-shirts. Um, they were rather funny stories. I thank you, good woman. Rocco Roco, I like the way you talk to me. Hell yeah. Um, just get the Romanian passport. No, I'm actually working on Romanian passport. Um, and by I'm working on it, I mean Papa Botez is working on it, but it takes a while. Are you going to do the video for Andrea saying T1 would win chess streamer? What? Oh, shh. Don't remind her, warrior. But I will once she's home, you know? It's very Andrea to invite herself to move in with Anna. This is true. You've been traveling for two months on the fashion traveling circu circus? What is fashion traveling circus? That's so cool. If you get good rating for the chess Olympic. So I am number five right now in terms of rating for the Olympiad team. And they, oh wait, they actually do take five. So, so far I'm qualified, but I don't think Andrea is going to qualify. Which is sad. Um... But maybe she'll make it in two years. Andrea can be Andrea can come with me to the Olympiad and she can film the content. We could do the vlog. When is Creator Poker Stream? Okay, so I was working on the Creator Poker Stream. Um, it was gonna be like April 19th, but the problem is now I'm not gonna make it because now I have to play the chess tournaments. So I am pushing that over. But I will be planning more creator poker games. Um all right, and now should we get into poker? Why do you play poker? Um, yes, let's talk about poker because that's what we're going to be doing and I'm very excited. Hammer said that she would take over for you, would they? They take the champion plus four, but the champion is number one. Okay, dad, so technically I'm on the list as an extra, but still. Um, so as you guys may know, if you've followed the stream for a while, I might not be the best gamer you know i mean sure do i get victory royales in fortnite absolutely are they against all bots nobody needs to know let's just keep it positive but the only two games that i've truly loved have been chess for most of my life and recently poker and i knew that i loved poker when i would be playing for 12 to 16 hours and the next day i'd be like i don't want to do anything but play more poker um, and what I have also realized is that I much prefer tournament poker over cash games because in cash games, it feels a lot harder to manage your bankroll. Um, and it also feels more difficult than chess and it's a lot about relationships and things like that. Whereas tournament poker reminds me a lot more about chess. You can prepare a lot more for it. There's more theory. It's easier to control your bankroll, like you know the amount you're paying for an entry fee, and you can take all these things into consideration. Um, and I just love the vibe of playing poker tournaments. Fortunately, this isn't connected. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, no, I, I really prefer tournaments. Um, you like two games, chess and chess? Well, I'm glad. I'm glad. Um, now, I want to play in more IRL poker tournaments. Oh, for those of you who don't know, I also have a poker YouTube channel. Um, I posted there for my Triton vlog, which was cool. I went head-to-head -head with Phil Ivy. I had a flush. What happened? Not going to tell you. Check out the video. Um, yeah, Command Poker. Thank you so much. Um, but I want to get better at poker. And nowadays the only way to get truly better on poker is to grind online and the reason for that is because you need to be able to play more hands and you need to be able to actually analyze them right because i basically tried filming when i was playing in, in in poker tournaments but the footage got so messy that i wasn't able to properly analyze my hands whereas in poker what i'm gonna do today and you'll probably hear me saying it is things like hey Sepher, can you mark that hand and then we're going to do a Google and then we're going to do a Google Drive sheet with all of my hands and then I'm going to be analyzing those. I have two coaches right now. Um I've only done one lesson with one of them cuz I ended up 
playing way too much chess and had to take a break from studying poker. But Landon Tice, who you guys already know, and he's basically like a human GTO, which means game theory optimal. So he's like a computer stockfish for those of you who play chess. Um, and he helped me analyze my poker hands last time I played, and I actually was able to learn a lot. And I'm also working with Chase. Um, Chase, who is part of Chip Leader Coaching, and he is one of the best live tell coaches. He's somebody who I got recommended. Chance, sorry. I, I, I was reading Chip Leader Coaching at the same time, and I messed that up. But yeah, he's one of the best live tell coaches coaches in the world every time i was asking my poker friends i was like who's the best person to be able to work on live tells and they'd always be like chance corner that was the name that kept coming up over and over again so he's going to be helping me as well and he's also part of chip leader cult coaching which is why i have it up there in the corner yes um so the way i basically want to do these Soda poppin'. Yeah, it's actually soda poppin'. Yeah, Chance Corneth is awesome. Um, but anyway, so I'm going to be treating the online poker as a way to learn. And honestly, I was a little bit nervous because there's so many backseaters and there's just going to be people shitting online because that's what the internet, is in, that internet does. But I also know that's not most people. And regardless, it's just noise. I'm here to improve. I'm going to make mistakes. Um, but I'm going to review my hands, I'm going to review the things I'm not sure about, and I'm going to use the online poker as a way to improve um, to play in tournament poker, which is one of the things that I love the most, especially playing in person because it's so social. So this year I'm def definitely going to play in the WSOP main again, which is one of the biggest poker tournaments in the world. I vlogged it last time also on the poker channel, if anyone is cur curious. Um, I, I'm going to add music in a second separate. Uh, the noise filter has to be high because I had to bring in fans. Um, and yeah, so, so the, the WSOP main is the biggest poker tournament in the world. It's in Las Vegas. I think it's, it's like mid-July, but there's a ton of WSOP events before that. So I'm going to be basically training for these in-person events with this. Wait, why do you keep moving away from the... Oh, because you wanted to eat. No, I don't, I don't blame you for that, my boy. Um, don't worry about the haters. Well, I still get nervous. I still get nervous. Um, burb. Yes, I know. We have a burb. He's very cute. This is Squeak. Your drive reminds me what I used to feel about poker. I played for 10 years as a pro, but I got burnt out. I'm really sorry you got burnt out. One of the things that is really exciting for me is that I get to be a beginner again. Um, and some, and being a beginner is intimidating, but it's also really exciting. Did you play the women's WSOP event? I didn't last year, but I want to play it this year. And there's also another event in May, which I'm not allowed to tell you guys about yet because it's not 100% confirmed, but I'm probably going to play that as well. So I'm going to have quite a few tournaments coming on. Um, okay, so I brought two books with me. I mean, I brought more books, but these are the only books I brought to the office. Um... So one of them is meditations, just in case I get tilted while playing poker. I thought Marcus Aurelius could have some some good tips, but then I read on Twitter that that his his wife cheated on him, and maybe he's not a su successful man. But then I thought just because you get cheated on doesn't mean you're not a successful person, and it is not his fault, and he has to cope with it anyway. And that's a stupid Reddit, that's a stupid Twitter post. So yeah, we got meditations in case we get tilted. Um, let's just find something in for inspiration before we get started. Um, let's see, the first thing we said. One thing only troubles me. To prevent doing something to which the constitution of man does not allow, or in the way which it does not allow, or what it does not allow. What does that mean? It is peculiar to man to love even those who do wrong. This is true. And this happens if when they do wrong, it occurs to you that they are friends and that they do wrong through ignorance and unintentionally that soon both of you will die. And above all, that the wrongdoer done you no harm, for he has not made your ruling faculty worse than it was before. Well, you know, I like the quote, never assume malice when it could be stupidity and that kind of reminds me of that. But anyway... Um, yeah, so when we tilt, we'll read this and we'll be like, everybody dies, and that will be better. Is my poker tilt going to be better than my chest tilt? I have no idea what to tell you. I have no idea what to tell you. Um, 
Okay, but I brought a second book. I, I'm sorry, this is not book book time. Um, I said I would start streaming poker. Look at me looking at my invisible clock. I said I would stream poker at noon. <laughs> We're clearly on schedule today, aren't we? Bear with me. I've been traveling for a month straight. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Um, but one of the books that I've been reading on my plane rides is Maria Konnikova's The Biggest Bluff. And Maria Konnikova, she's a New York Times bestseller. She's a writer. Um, she also had a PhD in psychology. And for this book, she basically decided that she would start poker from scratch. Um, and the reason why she wanted to learn how to play poker is that she wanted to master chance. Um, she, there was a lot of, you know, rough things going on in her life, like dealing with certain illnesses, her mom getting fired, things like that. And she was just looking at poker at a way that helps you kind of emotionally learn how to deal with luck. And she ended up working with Eric Seidel, which is one of the greats. He has won so many poker bracelets and he's been one of the OGs that has been there from the start and has been able to really adapt. And she had some really good quotes about poker, which I wanted to, I, w I wanted to read a few of them. Um, okay. I haven't finished the book yet, but I'm getting there. I'm getting there. Um, let me find the, actually I took photos of the quotes I liked cause I didn't have a highlighter on the pale lane which is a little try-hard anyway. Imagine having a highlighter. So let me let me find the ones that I that I took a photo of that I wanted to share. Uh, I have to have to scroll a little bit. Scrolling, 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 scrolling. Um man, I have a lot of screenshots. I don't know if I'm going to find it. Where did I put all of these? Oh wait, it wasn't a screenshot. That's why it's wrong. I took a photo of it, of the book. Sorry. Give me a second. This Duolingo class has been on point. Yeah, I know, I'm sorry. Well, we're almost there. Aha, I found it. Okay, Um. yes, so. This is what she said. I hoped to make the best decisions I possibly could, not just at the card table, but in life. Through poker, I wanted to tame luck, to learn to make a difference even when the deck seemed stacked against me. So that's kind of why she started to play. I already explained a bit of the backstory. Um, and let me find the other one. Um, okay, what is my next one? Um... She had a lot of really good quotes about luck and chance, which I thought were really good. But now that I'm looking at the ones ones I, I, I wrote. Oh, yeah, this is this is when she was talking about how she got sick um, and she was talking about someone. She was reading James Salter and she said, we cannot imagine these diseases. They are called idiopathic, spontaneous in origin. But we know instinctive instinctively there must be something more, some invisible weakness they are exploiting. It is impossible to think they fell at random. It is unbearable to think it. And this is because she ended up being ill with something that was really random and she felt she had no control over. And I found myself nodding in recognition. Whether it was pure chance or not, it sucked. It's a familiar pattern of thought. Luck surrounds us everywhere. From something as mundane as walking to work and getting there safely to the other extreme, like surviving a war or a terrorist attack when otherwise mere inches away weren't as fortunate. But we only notice it when things don't go our way. We don't often question the role of chance in the moment it protects us from others and ourselves. When chance is on our side, we disregard it. It is invisible. But when it breaks us, we wake up to its power. We begin to reason about its whys and hows. So this is kind of how she started thinking about chance. And she saw poker as a way to kind of understand it more. And then the other part I really liked about the book is... How she tried to explain poker to her conservative Russian grandma who was like, yo, homie, why are you gambling for a living? But, you know, not with those words, because once again, I don't think she would even know what homie meant. Um, she's going way above and beyond with this promo. It's not a promo. I'm an ambassador now. I'm going to be playing poker. I get to do something I really love with a partner who's going to support me. 
Um, but one thing I always do hear a lot is people comparing poker to pure gambling and things like that. And there were some quotes from this book that I thought were really interesting that I kind of wanted to share. Um, so I promise story time is almost over, but let me find those quotes as well. Um, okay. This was a really beautiful quote about poker as well. For poker, unlike quite any other game, mirrors life. It isn't the roulette wheel of pure chaos, nor is it the chess of mathematical elegance and perfect information. Although I was having a debate, not a debate, an interesting discussion with Grandmaster Jules Mussard in Iceland about how there actually is luck in chess. But I'm going to save this tangent for another time. Like the world we inhabit, it consists of an inextric inextricable joining of the two. Poker stands at the fulcrum that balances two oppositional forces in our lives, chance and control. Anyone can get lucky or unlucky at a single hand, a single game, a single tournament. One turn and you're on top of the world. Another, you are cast out no matter your skill, training, preparation, aptitude. In the end, though, luck is a short-term friend of foe. Skill shines through over the longer-term horizon. Poker has a mathematical foundation, but with a dose of human intention, interaction, psychology, nuance, deception, deception, little tricks that don't quite reflect reality, but help you gain an edge over others. Humans aren't rational. Information isn't open to all. There are no rules of behavior, behavior only norms and suggestion, and within certain broad constraints, anybody might break the norms at any point. Anyway, I really like this one. Story time is the best. I'm glad you like it. I didn't know if this would be too boring. Okay, don't worry. I have a few more quotes that I saved, and then I'm done. I just kept saving all these quotes. There's going to be a pop quiz, you guys. Don't worry. Um, okay. Okay, hang on. <laughs> um, one second. Okay, hang on. It wasn't this one. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Okay, this was the best one. The birth of a gambler. You know what? I'm going to read it directly from the book. So this is for the one, for, for all of the people who, like, look down on poker. And I just thought this was so well put that I should just read it exactly. Okay, this is funny. Okay, we're gonna read this and then we're moving on. Um, okay, so this, this is a quote first from Thomas Jefferson. If we consider games of chance immoral, then every pursuit of human industry is immoral. For there is not a single one that is not subject to chance. Not one wherein you do not risk a loss for the chance of some gain. All right, I'm gonna start. Should I do voices for her grandma or is that weird? You're gonna be a gambler? That's my mother, Baba Anya speaking. My other grandmother, my last living grandparent. I've come to Boston for a family visit. La 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 la, she continues to talk about. Um, okay. If you think you know the kind of disappointment a five foot some odd 92 year old is capable, think again. She was a Soviet era school teacher. She's had more practice than an army drill sergeant. She shakes her head. Masha, she says. Sorry. Masha, she says. My Russian nickname. In a single word, she has so much sadness, so much regret for the life I'm about to throw away. In a single word, she managed to convey that I'm on the brink of ruin, about to make a decision so momentously bad that it is beyond comprehension. I can see the visions of Dovayetsky's gambler dancing through Baba Anya's head, throwing away his life in the fictional Roulettenberg. Um, Dovayetsky knew of what he wrote. On a trip to Baden-Baden, he developed a passion for roulette and lost absolutely everything. That didn't stop him from wanting more, even though it led to a life of ruin. Wow, that's really depressing. Anyway, so she's talking about all this thing as she's having this conversation with her grandma, who has all these preconceived notions of poker. Um, and she goes, she repeats. Wait, actually, let me read this on too. This is the fate I can clearly see written all over my grandma's face. A Harvard education, and this, this is what I'm choosing to do? Masha, she repeats. You're gonna be a gambler? My grandma's reaction may be extreme. Nothing is quite as personal as your grandchildren heading out to ruin on your watch. Yes. She'll be called a moral degenerate by strangers, etc., etc. Okay, and now let me find the quotes that I actually wanted to read. Um, 
Okay, here we go. Okay, here we go, here we go, here we go. I did, I did, I did, yeah, I do relate. Um, should I just read the ones that I read, that I quoted? Because I don't want to be reading to you guys for too long. I don't want to bore you. Um, let me, let me get the ones that I actually, how about read the whole book? No, I just thought this, I thought this one was good. Okay. Um, oh yeah, this was really good. These were really good. Okay, so... Not boring, this is a perfect pocket. Okay, so there are two other points that I remember really liking from this part of her book. And one was the importance of learning how to bet on things as a teaching tool. And the reason why that is important is it because it teaches you how to be objective. So we often think about certain outcomes in our day-to-day -day life, and we might associate them with different probabilities than what is real. So for an example of something I always do with Andrea, when she's like, no, I'm sure this happened. And I'm like, okay, if you're sure, would you like to bet on it? Because you are telling me that you think something happened with 99% likelihood. If that's the case, why are you not willing to bet on it? And that's when the realizations sort of come to happen, when you realize that you have this inherent subjectivity with which you view life around you. And poker is one of the games that forces you to put your money where your mouth's at, which I think is a really important reading tool. Um, uh-oh. Lag? Uh-oh. How bad? It's lagging a bit. You're getting lagged too. Well, it says it's only 0.9% of frames. Hopefully it will be better. Um, let me find the other. Okay. A little lag, but now it's okay. Uh, the drop frames are going up. Give me a second. Here to 10. Um... Can we skip to the non-poker part? No, I have more stories. It is going up. I don't know why we're dropping frames. Well, I have a few more a few more uh, quotes to read, and then we can start on the poker. Or I, I guess I could save the quotes for while we're figuring out the tournament. Um... Of course poker has a gambling aspect. I'm just trying to explain what I really like about the game and what I find interesting. Okay, the lag is going up. Um, what is this book called? It's called The Biggest Bluff. I'm going to play poker on stream. Um, okay, one second. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, is it it's lagging again? Yeah, the amount of dropped frames are going up. It was at like 0 0.7 and now it's at 2.2. .2. Let me do a quick Google to figure out what's happening. And why this is happening. Two point four. Did the internet just go down? Sorry, chat, one second. When will you start playing? Very soon. I can stop I can stop my, my rambling, but I had a few more passages I wanted to share. But the problem is that the drop frames keep going up, so let me just check on...